guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. So I talk a lot about how important it is to leash train your Sweetie Pie when they're young. It establishes early on that you are the top dog around your house and that your Sweetie Pie looks at you, follows your lead, and learns right away that good things come from her human. So today we're gonna go over seven common mistakes to avoid when leash training your Sweetie Pie. So the first mistake to avoid when leash training is making leash training your puppy's first skill to learn. Before you get to leash training, you must first do some basic obedience training. And with puppies, you can start by hand feeding them. Hand feeding your puppy shows them that good things come from your hand. Your sweetie pie will quickly learn to look at you, to wait for the food, and to view you as the leader that she should follow. You should wait for her to make good eye contact, and to begin learning simple commands like sit and lie down. You also wanna to wait to start on leash training until your sweetie pie knows how to follow your hand in a figure eight or a circle. With first doing basic obedience training, your sweetie pie should be laser focused on you. That's the key. So do some basic obedience training well before you even think about putting on a harness or a leash. The next mistake to avoid is to put the harness and leash on and then just expect your puppy to automatically follow you around. Wearing a harness or a collar is something your sweetie pie will need to get used to. And then learning how to follow your lead on a leash is a skill that must be taught. The first time you put a leash or harness on your sweetie pie, she will have no idea what you want. So it's important to introduce her to the leash gradually. First, putting on the harness and of course rewarding your sweetie pie with treats. Allow her to have a few short sessions just wearing the harness and make it a positive experience. After several days or weeks of getting used to the harness, you can finally attach the leash. But don't pick it up just yet. Let her drag the leash around behind her so she can adjust to the feeling of the added weight. Again, lots of positive rewards so that she knows she's doing a good job. You did good, baby. The third mistake people will make is to take their puppy outside to work on leash training. Now, eventually you'll want your puppy to walk on a leash outside, but at first you should stay inside where your sweetie pie is most comfortable and there are fewer distractions. Outside or at the park is just full of distractions and noises. So she's probably gonna struggle to follow your lead when she's placed in an unfamiliar setting with interesting smells and noises to discover. So it's best to start all of your leash training sessions in the room where your sweetie pie spends most of her time. Speaking of distractions, the next mistake people make is to have other people or dogs around when your sweetie pie is first learning about the leash. Later on, after she's mastered walking on the leash is when you can introduce distractions, but at first you need to clear the room of other dogs and people. In the beginning, you need to give your sweetie pie the best opportunity for success by being laser focused on just you. The fifth mistake people often make is pulling or yanking on the leash. This is upsetting to your sweetie pie and makes what should be a positive experience into a negative experience. It's always important to wait Sit. for the positive behavior, reward Sit. her, and ignore or redirect any Sit. unwanted behavior. Good sir. You'll be surprised how quickly your sweetie pie will learn what is expected of her. So remember, never yank on the leash. The next mistake might seem obvious, but try your best not to become frustrated or angry with your sweetie pie. All training is based on positive reinforcement, and that takes patience. And as a fur mama or daddy, it's your responsibility to be patient. Remember, a puppy is just a baby. She's precious and impressionable, huh? Positive reinforcement and training her to trust you, to look at you for rewards, treats, and a favorite toy, or just a loving hug, will shape and mold her into being a loving, sociable adult. And finally, the last mistake you should avoid when leash training your puppy is making the training session too long. Remember again, she's just a baby. She'll have a short attention span. So each session may last only four or five minutes. And when you see that she's distracted or not getting it, just simply end that session and come back to it the next day. Make it short, positive, and rewarding for her. So these are the mistakes to avoid when leash training your puppy. I hope that you find this video helpful and fun. If you'd like to support my channel, go to the link tree in the description for all the wonderful products I recommend. Are you growling? What are you growling at? There's nobody over there. Oh, are you growling at the picture? <laughs> If you'd like to support my channel, go to my link tree in the description for all the wonderful products I recommend and the adorable merchandise I have available for you, including my new Etsy store, where I'm selling these super cute, tiny, tiny harnesses. More to come on this in a later video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye. Say bye. -bye. Say bye.
いいって結構。